Welcome back. The Department of Energy teaming up with supercomputer manufacturer Cray and chipmaker AMD in a $600 million deal to build the world's most powerful supercomputer. The new device, Frontier, will debut at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in 2021 and will be the fastest in the world when completed. At least that's the expectation. Joining us now, live from Oak Ridge, Tennessee, is AMD CEO Lisa Su and Cray CEO Peter Angaro. Guys, good morning. Good morning, Good morning, John. Um, a big announcement, uh, Lisa. Traditionally, Intel, your rival, has been very strong in supercomputers, as has IBM. What does this move uh, mean for AMD and your message to customers uh, around high-end computing? Well, uh, John, first of all, we are absolutely thrilled to be here today at Oak Ridge National Labs uh, with the Department of Energy and with our partner, Cray, uh, to announce the, uh, the new supercomputer frontier. Um, it is extremely important to us. Um, we're all about high performance computing and how we can bring the best technologies uh, to, um, to the industry. And this is the, the best of the best in terms of the, uh, the highest performing supercomputer with a lot of new technologies in it. So it's extremely important to AMD and we're so honored uh, to be here with our partner, Craig. And, and Peter, uh, last year, IBM announced the Summit supercomputer right there at Oak Ridge uh, to much fanfare. Just a couple months ago, you announced a supercomputer with Intel at Argonne. Uh, lots of supercomputer announcements in the U.S. happening right now amid this competition with China. What's going on? Yeah, it's an exciting time uh, right now in the world of supercomputing with bigger and bigger machines getting built all the time uh, going forward. We're very excited to be partnered together for the Frontier machine, which we believe will be the world's leading supercomputer when it's installed in 2021. And, uh, and really a, a ton of new technology that's going to hit the market, not just with this machine, but even broader into the broader computing marketplace. Lisa, um, competition with China, they've got a supercomputer now that is uh, made entirely with their domestic chips. There's some questions about how much access they're going to have to, to U.S.-based technology. How much is the competition between the U.S. and China uh, driving the narrative right now in supercomputing? Well, certainly when we think about U.S. competitiveness and what we're trying to drive with, um, you know, the science and the technology here in the U.S., um, there's no question it's very competitive. You know, from our standpoint, we're just so excited to be part of the industry ecosystem here and the public and private partnership between the Department of Energy and the National Lab System and Oak Ridge together with ourselves and Cray, uh, we are building something really, really special. And um, from that standpoint, we feel great about the technologies. We're, we're building actually custom components that together with the scientists across the National Lab System, we believe are going to solve some of the world's you know, toughest and most important challenges over the next number of years. Peter, I just want to back it up for a minute. We're talking about ex exascale computing, which for those of us uh, who are not scientists uh, is basically measured in exaflops or quintillions of calculations per second. I'm talking about a number with 18 zeros at the end. When you talk about new technologies, yeah. what are you talking about with capabilities and applications? And what does this mean for the average American in terms of how that will affect their lives in the future? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, if every person on the planet did one calculation a second, it would take them over six years to do what Frontier will do in just one second. This is a huge machine. Uh, it'll be about the size of two basketball courts and weigh over a million pounds, which is about 35 school buses, to give you a perspective of that. Uh, and the technology that's going to underpin it is both the AMD processors and GPUs, which will be the engines of the machine, all tied together with the Cray Slingshot Interconnect, so a, a system interconnect to make all of these processors work together, as well as our Shasta system infrastructure and integrated software stack. So it's really a machine that brings together the best of what ha is happening in the world of supercomputing with the technologies of the world of cloud computing and bringing that all together in one machine. Uh, Lisa, th this is a 
DOE, Department of Energy uh, facility, of course, but these supercomputers get used broadly across government. Um, I I'm curious about cybersecurity and uh, the implications there, how supercomputing is being used. Sh shed some light, if you can, on how uh, a computer with this kind of power advances that area. Yeah, you know, it's a um, extremely, extremely powerful set of, uh, of computational capability. And when you look at, you know, although housed here at Oak Ridge, you know, scientists from all around um, the country are going to be able to use uh, these supercomputers and Frontier uh, to advance, you know, research in all kinds of areas, including, um, you know, medical research, biological research, um, you know, weather research, um, you know, energy research. And of course, security is a very important piece of that. So I think the key for us is to provide the, um, the components and the foundation, not just in the hardware, but also in the, um, the programming capabilities and the abilities for a broad range of scientists to really solve some of the world's you know, toughest challenges. Lisa, how much market share can you grow in high performance computing off announcement like this? Well. I, you know, John, as we've talked about, the data center is um, an incredibly important space. Data is growing everywhere, whether you're, you talk about um, high performance computing, cloud computing, or you're talking about you know, enterprise applications. We are absolutely committed to bringing these technologies throughout all of those spaces. And, um, you know, we love the data center and high performance computing. And Lisa, quickly before we let both of you go, I just want to get your thoughts uh, on all of this U.S.-China trade discussion and, and the developments that we've seen so far this week. Your expectations and, and what does that mean for, for the company? How are you planning based on what the outcomes could look like by Friday? Well, yeah, no, certainly we're following the situation very closely and, uh, you know, we have good faith that there will be a, um, a good outcome that comes across. And from our standpoint, you know, it's really all about staying focused on our markets and staying focused on our products and um, ensuring that, uh, you know, uh, understanding what's going on and following the, uh, the China situation is quite important to us as well. All right. Thank you, Lisa Sue and Peter Angaro, AMD and Craig.